Hi guys, welcome back to Thomas Was Alone. So last time we found out that we have to get to the creation matrix. We have to do something. We have to empower the rest of the AI which are stuck in this world to try and make them escape or make their lives more easy. So this time we're going to push on and see if we can find that creation matrix. James still felt weird, but he realised now that everyone else was too. They were a crew of weirdos. Weirdness that would save all the normals up above. The other AIs would escape and it would all be down to seven rectangles with very different relationships to gravity. Yep, he's right. They're all weirdos and they all have one thing in common that they need to try and save the world. One step at a time. So we've got to move everyone around to get each each person to be able to press their corresponding uh, button. Bouton. I like saying bouton. Right. We need to get Claire down the bottom. Oops. That's going to be difficult because Thomas is there. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this game so far. It's great. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. It's so good. Storyline's so cool. And it's just a puzzle platformer where you are saving the world as these guys know it. That's everyone. Just Sarah to make jump. that white glowing thing down there. He'd never meet Nathan Fillion or a Transformer. Probably. He'd never get to visit Gotham City or eat at movies. It didn't matter. If he and his friends jumped into the creation matrix, they could give everyone else in the simulation a chance to. So, it looks like they're going to sacrifice themselves to save every other AI. So I guess this means the end for our heroes. We're going to get them all in place. It's the last time that Laura will see Chris. The last time that Chris can hate Thomas. The last time that John can uh, impress everyone with his jumping abilities. Uh, well it will be if I, uh, if I get the puzzle right. Last time for Claire to be a superhero, to ferry everyone across water with her superpowers. But it's all for the greater good. They're going to become the architects, the saviour of the whole AI species, well not species, but I suppose they are species, I don't know. Who knows? Let's get John down there. He seems to be like a little bit outside the creation matrix. Sorry, apologise for the screen warping everywhere, but um, I need Thomas for that, I think. And Chris, actually. I, think. Oh, do, I don't know. Who do I need? Ah, uh, God damn it. <laughs> Have I got everyone's... No, I haven't. I've just got Thomas you know, wedged in a terrible place. I need to learn to press Q rather than just E over and over again. It'll probably make it less, less frustrating for everyone to watch. Uh, where can I get more to? Let's get there. Uh, 
There we are. Finally. She's the most difficult one to get down there, and still John's in the way. Get out of the way, you. Let's get Thomas over. Up on the edge. Move Chris down, past everyone. Out of the way. So, as you can see there, there looks like there's four specific AI which are in the uh, in the middle of the creation matrix. I wonder why that is. And this is the end. Say goodbye to everyone, guys. And they're gone. But this isn't the end of the game, oh no. Thomas and the other architects augmented the world to suit the AIs. The splitters kept the di their distance. The system was never taking control from that point. Thousands of AI were free to escape. So who's this grey, grey rectangle we've got here? Seems to be pretty good at jumping. About the same as John, I'd say. And what does this have to do with the plot? What does this have to do with Thomas and the rest of them? And their sacrifice? Look at the light. I love that shadow. Greg hmm. felt something change beneath his feet. Something had shifted. The shape in front of him hinted at a possibility. So this guy is imaginatively named Grey. Uh, I wonder why that is. But what are these? What are these weird blocks? And what happens when I run into them? Because his colour has changed. What happens if I jump into water now? Wow. He couldn't do that before. So yeah, it looks like he's imbued with the properties of Claire. They've been passed on. So she's saved more lives, even though she herself is dead. She's a true superhero. There's two more new AI here. Joe was happy. They'd settled Oops. here. They'd not seen another AI for many cycles, and she liked it that way. So here we have our first couple. She saw Sam leap into the shifter with fear. Got Sam and Joe. So buttons. Ah, yes, there is. So yeah, I like I like Sam. Sam's a good name. Um. Yeah, for obvious reasons. So they don't like seeing other AI. They just want to be alone. And content with life, I guess. Fortunately, this AI can jump... Ow, as I say that, he dies. But he can jump better than Chris, even though he's about the same size. Actually, I think she I think this is Joe. <sighs> Come on. Oh, and then I got FPS drop. That's my excuse for that one. make them both impervious to water. Ah, uh, grey. It's not grey, sorry. It's going weird. What's wrong with the gravity here? This is weird. Gravity seems to be strange. Couldn't work it out. Why was the world letting him do this? It was dumb. It was awesome, obviously, but why? They seemed to be leading him up. Up. And to the right. See, there we go. We're back to up and to the right again. What's with that? There we go. That was weird. Gravity was strange. Hmm. So, what does that colour remind you of? Kind of like pinky red. I wonder what that's going to do to us. Joe wished Sam would stop. This was just like the time with the pixel clouds. They hadn't seen any for a while. He was always running off like this. 
So it looks like there was multiple pixel clouds after them. So yeah, that's the Laura's abilities there, making them all bouncy. And then Claire's powers obviously, so I can ferry each other they can ferry each other across. And then be bouncy, which is always handy. Sam was sorry, and he tried to calm Joe down. He couldn't explain why he felt this way. He just knew that there was somewhere else he should be. Oh, I ferried the wrong one across. I made the wrong one bouncy. So yeah, there's a, a weird feeling that they know where they should be. Oops. No. No, stop dying, Sam. Come on. Let's get across and jump over here without touching it. There we go. So this is where the game mechanics are. That they come into their own here, really. I mean, the amount of the really cool puzzles and everything, and yeah, I love this game so much. I'm gonna keep saying it. Ah, oh, come on, you can jump off him. Here, yeah, sorry. Right, let's just wait for them to stabilize, then jump. Nope. It's not liking that. Oh, can I just jump over in one jump? Apparently not. Right, <laughs> I'm going to try this another way, because every other way that I seem to be doing leads to death. There we go, that worked. And let's bounce up there. Ta-da! Oh, there's a new guy here. The weird shape. Paul felt it. There was a whisper to the shifters. This is Paul. They had not occurred randomly. They God. had been created. He set off. So everyone seems to be knowing where they've got to be. Seems to be a weird, weird feeling that everyone has at the moment. Back with Grey. Grey listened to the old man. The shifters had been placed in the world by the architects. AIs who sacrificed themselves to fuel their escape. There was an outer world. A world beyond the confines of their universe. Up and to the right. So that's where the, the outer world is. And Paul knows all this. He seems like a very wise old man. Can't get up there, can he? Now he needs to go there. So yeah, Paul knows all the stories of the others. He seems to be some kind of like, I don't know, almost like religious, like priest type thing. That's how I think of him anyway. So he knows about the architects and knows about the struggles that they've done and he knows where the outside world is. He seems to have all the knowledge that no one else seems to have had before that, other than Thomas, obviously. So we're back with Sam and Joe. And their attempt to, uh... I don't know, I don't know what they're attempting to do. They just seem to need to... They seem to know that they need to be somewhere. Joe was growing to like her newfound abilities. Maybe Sam had done the right thing after all. It was getting a bit chilly though. I'm not sure how to do this. Ah, there we are. Right. Make her, her make him blue. Jump down. There we go. Get into the checkpoint. Oops, that didn't go well. So it looks like one of them has to stay blue, which is quite difficult to do actually. So how are we going to do this? Ah, uh, without turning them. Hmm. Oh dear. Right. So I guess we can get a bounce. Ta-da, like that bring one of them back as a ferry. There we 
and bounce up there. No, swap them around. There we go. And through they go. Well, through one of them goes. Not quite sure how to... Oh, I guess to just bounce them over. There we go. And we're through. Get them both impervious to water. And we're away. Going further into the world. That's a purple one there. Who does that remind you of? So it looks like we're going to get the ability to double jump. Whee. Grey had left the old man behind. He had to get to this exit. He had to be the one to get out. A whole world to himself. So Grey starts to seem very selfish. Again, before anyone else did. And really, really, yeah, not helpful in any way. He seems to be the one be yeah, he seems to want to be the only one to escape. The only one to find this outer world. And I can't seem to get up there. There we go. Just to take my time. No. There we are. Just need to time it right. So let's jump. Become get double jump and then you can use that double jump in mid flight. See, this is what I'm talking about, the puzzles being really cool. Although I'm not sure where to go actually. Oh there we are, it's up there. Right guys, I think that's the end for now. I shall see you all next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe and all that jazz. And I will see you in the next episode of Thomas is Alone.